in life there are going to be things you like and there are going to be things you dislike that's just how life is there's good there's bad and when it comes down to things that i dislike i'm not really someone that is known for complaining but in this video you are gonna see me rant about how much i dislike christmas parties so if there's been a time for you guys to get that fried chicken and get that glorious ass kool-aid now is the perfect time because this uk Chocolate brother will be going ham on this video. Sound for do Let me just get on with this. The drunk customer. And in my personal opinion, they are the most annoying type of customer to deal with. And you get many different types of customers in a restaurant. You got the drunk customer, you got the customer that likes to complain, you got the customer that likes to ask a lot of questions, and of course you got the customer that can't even speak English, or should I say the language of the country that you're in. So there's a massive language barrier right there, my friend. <laughs> there's a massive language barrier. Like, Lord have mercy. Ah, oh, Lord, man. Those customers are difficult to take orders because you're busy sitting there trying to explain to them what a dish is. Man, imagine trying to explain what ginger beer is. Imagine. Imagine, man. How do you explain that? <laughs> That's like me asking you, explain to me what water is. Yeah, um, I kind of got dug in too deep. Ended up going on a long rant, so you had to cut that out. Um, but yeah, back to drunk customers. So um don't get me wrong it's always good to have a nice time at a restaurant especially a christmas party as well you pay through that money you got a free course meal you got starter main course dessert and of course you got the nice atmosphere the nice music everything is nice of course we want you to have a nice time but here's the problem with drunk customers they are loud they make a lot of mess and when i mean to make a lot of mess they just spill alcohol over the table they might as well just stand up tip, tip the drink over and just start smothering up in this shit you know what i'm saying they might as well just start smothering all over the tables because by the time they're done they the whole the whole table smells of alcohol you know what i'm saying and not only that they um they don't want to leave they don't want to leave man you're done with your food can you please and I mean, please, in the most politest of ways, piss off. <laughs> like, like legit, they don't want to leave. They start milking their stay and they be like, oh, they're packing all our stuff away. It's like they want us to leave. Yes, we want you to piss off. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, this ain't rocket science. When we're coming up here, packing your glasses, packing your drinks, taking your drink out of the ice bucket, that is our way of telling us. Oh, that is our way of telling you, should I say, to piss off. You know what I mean? But drunk customers, they like to milk their stay. They get up real slow. They put their arm around you like you've known them from, for five plus years. They get touchy too much. They try and get you to drink. Like, just go away. <laughs> we gave you a food. Now, can you politely piss off? <laughs> um, that's one of the problems with them, man. They get too buddy buddy, but I'm not here to be buddy buddy. I'm here to give you good service. I'm here to treat you good. And once you've done all of that shit, can you politely leave? Because at the end of the day, when you guys stay later, it doesn't benefit us. We pack up later. We leave later. It doesn't benefit us in the slightest. So at the end of the day, drunk customers are actually the worst. Everybody is literally stressful to the brim, or should I say, to the extreme. And um, the thing about it is, I know everyone wants to make sure things are going well, make sure things are delivered right, and all that stuff. Make sure customers come in at the right time, and customers leave at the right time. Because when you got a bunch of bookings, there's a tight schedule. You gotta make sure people come in 
at the right time and you're gonna make sure people leave at the right time you gotta make sure everything is structured correctly which is something i understand but at times the stressful energy is too much because once one person is stressed and they transfer that stressful energy to someone else it just keeps going on and on and on and on and on and then everybody's stressed i'm getting rushed down for service when there's nothing to collect and bear in mind man i ain't gonna toot my own horn i'm a pretty fast dude when it comes to when it comes to running when it comes to moving my feet at quick speed that's that's my strong suit man i'm a football player and i can run like last time I, ra I ran, I think last time I run ran was when I was like 15 and it was like 11 seconds something, late 11 seconds in 100 meters. So I'm a pretty quick boy. So no need to rush me when they're nowhere near ready <laughs> and when they're just getting to do the j dish now. Like it's, there's no, it doesn't make any sense. I'm just standing there waiting. And then when I go upstairs and tell you that they're not ready yet, you got your hands in your face, you're looking bare stressed, you're looking like like life is peak right now, which it kind of is, but still, that ain't the point. Sometimes we just need to relax a bit and just let things just go with the flow. Pressure is good, but not too much pressure, man. We ain't trying to lift up too much heavy weights that we can't handle, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, people being overly stressed is what comes with Christmas parties. One thing I've come to realize after doing all these Christmas parties when I was looking over at the stuff that I actually want to put down in to making this video is that time goes really slow. Time goes really slow. It's busy but it goes slow and the reason why it's busy and it goes slow is because everything is so structured and when everything's so structured there's gonna be times where you're not really doing much there's gonna be times where not a lot is going on everything is just so damn slow and honestly me personally i don't like it man it's too slow for my liking time is going slow it's like um one one second is one minute one minute it's one hour a one hour is one freaking day <laughs> like it goes so slow and not only that you end up leaving at a time of a busy day and it's busy like i say it's structurally busy and that's one thing i can say that i really do not like is that time goes really slow but like i said it comes with the territory when you're doing christmas parties when you're doing events like this when things are done to a, to a structure that's all you can expect really i can't really complain which i'm already doing but that ain't the point so originally i wasn't planning to put this on the list but it had to be on the list because at the end of the day this affected me getting home i left my workplace at one am so this had to be on the list and that is people coming in late so on saturday people um came in at nine o'clock and they were meant to come in at eight o'clock and surprise surprise it was my people <laughs> why 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 are we like this man why are we black people so good at coming in late i remember one time i had football training my friend told me that training started at six and training really started at seven but he told me it started at six because he knew i'll get there for seven <laughs> like we are just so prone to coming in late we'll be like yo we're around the corner but really we haven't even left our beds <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we do that, but they left super late. They ended up leaving an hour after closing because of how slow they were. We should have, we should have, in theory, rushed out the um, the orders already and said that these people can come and collect when they're there. Like, or they can, we can just put it on their tables and then they can sit there and then they can eat the food because we don't get paid. Um, or should I say the restaurant doesn't benefit for us staying overtime I don't benefit for us staying overtime other than getting money but okay that's a pretty good benefit by the way I ain't gonna lie but still I, I don't want to get home at 3.30am 
Like, who wants to get home at 3 30 a.m.? Now, honestly, I waited an hour, a half an hour for a train. Yeah. You feel sorry for me, don't you? I feel sorry for me too. <laughs> But in conclusion, there's nothing that I like about Christmas party other than one thing. And that is the beautiful woman, man. I don't know what it is about this restaurant. This restaurant has so many attractive women that come in. Like, Lord have mercy. At times, yeah, they're like, yo, look at the front. I was like, yo, man, I'm, I'm most certainly looking at the front. I'm looking at the front. All right, man, I'm looking forward <laughs> because I'm enjoying the view of what I'm seeing right now, man. <laughs> that is the best thing about the place attractive women come in on a consistent basis whether it's christmas parties whether it's a regular day I, it's to the point that if you're if you if you got a girlfriend yeah if you really think your girlfriend is attractive and beautiful man she gotta go guanabana because that's where every couple takes their attractive girlfriend to guanabana so if you got a girlfriend and you think she's trash, she's gotta go there if, you, if you, she don't then I'm, I'm just guessing that she ain't attractive i'm guessing that she ugly man I don't make the rules. It's just how it's just how life is, man. Guanabana has a knack of of uh, attracting attractive women, and that's just how it is. And like I said, I don't make the rules. So if your girlfriend's um, good looking, which you should think because you're going out with her, she gotta go to Guanabana. If you don't, then obviously she ugly. She your daddy, son. I'm joking, <laughs> man. Yo, you, you get that? Juju on that? Uh, never mind, man. <laughs>